hello pisces it's your girl blue and i'm back with a message for us today come on in my love thank you so much for coming back home this place was created just for you pisces by a pisces for the pisces okay so y'all come on in don't forget to hit the like button and exchange some energies with me that helps me also to tap further into your energy especially for future readings all right so i wanted to get um some energy on you and your person see what's going on all right disclaimer i cannot help what comes out of these cars okay i am just a messenger okay so if anything comes up that you don't want to hear don't shoot the messenger okay be open to the messages take some deep breaths clear your energy and let's get into it all right so how is your person feeling about you right now you got somebody in their thoughts though oh my god <laughs> what they do pisces happened oh lord how does pisces person feel about them oh hope and commitment that's sweet all right obviously y'all might not be seeing eye to eye right now this person feels connected to you even when you're apart all right it says i haven't given up on us yet i always feel connected to you all right that's how are they feeling about Pisces, please? Oh, they're overwhelmed. I wonder why. The stress from this is draining me. Somebody's crying a lot. Look at the bottom of my card. It got water damage on it. The other card up under that does not, but this one does. It's something about crying or really feeling and like in their emotions. I'm not going to say necessarily all of them are crying, right? But somebody is definitely feeling, um, yeah. Is giving very much ten of wands. How do they feel about? And then look, ten, ten right here. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. How is their person feeling about them right now, spirit? Look, nah. At the train. <laughs> it, I have never felt a passion this intense. Do that though. Y'all know Pisces, baby. We it. You understand me? When it comes to that love, you understand? Okay, that love making. You know, Pisces is the fantasy in the bedroom. Yes, we are. I mean, come on, look at us. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they can't help it. They can't help it. <laughs> Y'all can't be mad at folks from the past that still be in your energy. Look at you. Come on. Shit, will you still be in your energy? I'm just saying. Okay? Shit, will you still be hung up over you? How they feeling about Pisces? Somebody definitely put it on somebody. Okay? And it's more than, the spirit was like, it's more than just that. It's more than just that right it's more than just uh physical okay there's something deep here between y'all that this person feels um in your connection it's something about i don't know how this makes sense but i heard you put you you bring out the dark side of them i don't know you could possibly even trigger this person and when i say that i mean like and some of y'all even unintentionally like you know how they say like Pisces, we're the mirror of the Zodiac, right? Like we mirror back to people. We some of the best like mirrorers, you know what I'm saying? When someone has something within them that may be broken, that needs attention, healing or anything like that. Unintentionally, most times we bring up, we'll trigger somebody. But it's something about this person knowing that something, I don't know, needed to be revealed to them about themselves or something like that. Okay. It's something about you, you, you you pull on an energy in this person that they haven't felt before from another person. I hope I said that right. Yeah. It's something about candles here as well. Okay. I don't know if that would be success successful. Okay. Significant. But like even like in um, love making or spending time alone, it's something about a scented candle at that is what i just heard a scented candle somebody could have even gifted you a candle or they you could have gifted them a candle or something or something with like a scent 
okay even incense or uh i don't know uh shit a scent okay <laughs> a oil i don't know a diffuser shit it's something about it, 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 this could even be pheromones shit what are you talking about okay misty that name could be significant okay all right all right okay okay hmm okay what all right <clears throat> westry westry How is Pisces person feeling? Damn. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Unfinished business. Look, they not done. You understand me? I don't know what's going on with see y'all, but ooh. we still have things to resolve and discuss, Pisces. Unfinished business. Okay, somebody could, like, work online, like, work um, even from home. Okay. All right. Um, just pick up what resonates to y'all, right? Because we read it for the whole planet. So every part of the reading may not um, be for you, right? So pick up what resonates. If you want to get a more in-depth uh, in or detailed uh, reading about your situation, look in the description box and it's a link to book your reading, okay? All readings are returned within three to five days, okay? All right, somebody name could start with a U, Okay. It's you out here twice. All right. How does Pisces person feel about them, please? I'm not going to take that if it don't come out. <laughs> oh. Didn't I tell you? When I tell you what I tell you, I be telling you. <laughs> this person feels so left out of the cold, oh, Pisces. Let me tell you that. Our cutoff game be strong, boo, Okay. When we done, we be like, uh-uh, I'm done. No, okay, uh-uh. We gonna protect our energy, you understand me? You brought out something in this person that needed to be brought out, okay? You understood the assignment. That's what I just heard. Even if your ass ain't really understood it, your spirit understood that whole, okay? Your higher self understood it and you accomplished a goal, right? Now, I, I, I'm a big believer in people are brought into your life for different reasons, seasons, lessons, and blessings. You know what I'm saying? And I really honestly um, definitely know that there was a lesson here with this person. It's not, I'm not even gonna, because I feel like it, be go, it goes both ways. You know what I'm saying? Equal reciprocity, six of pentacles. You know what I'm saying? The universe ain't going to look out for this person and not look out for you. It's not going to look out for you and not look out for this person, right? So there was a lesson here for this person. There's a side of this person that was neglected. <laughs> neglected is on the bottom, but the thing is, it, it was a side that they have been neglecting within themselves, okay? That shadow side, okay? Like I said, you bring out the dark side of this person, all right? Um, and, and, and a lot of people are scared of their shadow, you know what I'm saying? Or, or scared to address it, right? Some people don't even know what that is, right? That ego, okay? The things that keep us, um, um, it, it, it's, it, it's thinking is keeping us safe, but sometimes it hinders us, right? Okay, the shadow does sometimes, right? Until we face it, we address it, and then we can heal it, right? We can move forward. So it's something that you let, like, that you, oh my God, rainbows could be significant. I guess that's one of my crystals in my window. It's like rainbows all on my um um on my wall right now. But rainbows could be significant, okay? All right. Somebody's name could be Noah, okay? Because I'm thinking about Noah's Ark, right? That's where the the covenant of the rainbow came from. That was God's covenant, you know, His promise not to flood the earth anymore, but um or destroy the. You know what I'm saying? Look it up if you don't. But yeah. You brought something to light for this person. Good job. Okay. Good job. All right. <clears throat> Let's see how you feeling about them. It literally, you made me realize my flaws. Now it's time to get it together. How is Pisces feeling about their person? About this person? <laughs> I don't want to assign them to you if you're not still together. Some of y'all may be, though. All right. How is Pisces feeling about them? You and this 
person had hella chemistry. You could even feel like this this person is a soulmate or a twin flame if you resonate with that uh, journey, okay? All right, but you, look, how does, y'all heard me ask spirit, how does Pisces feel about this person? Inseparable and commitment. Oh, Pisces. So y'all are distant right now from each other. You could even live a distance, okay? Some of y'all could live a distance from this person, okay? Um, yeah, inseparable. Our love is always there despite the distance. And then with the unfinished business, it's very much giving me either separation or maybe just not talking right now, disagreement or something of that nature, okay? How does Pisces feel about this person? A Gemini could be significant. A Scorpio, a Cancer, a Virgo. All right, that's the Hermit. The, even another Pisces, the Hermit, the Moon, the um, the Lovers. It was something else I said, but anyway. Oh, that Scorpio with the shadow, um, that transformation, right? How does Pisces feel? You want your person back. Have you been crying? This card got water damage on it, babe. Hold on. Let me get you a tissue. You need a tissue? You need... You, you got it? Okay. All right. Aw. And then, literally, y'all. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. But you may feel like this person not being 100 with you about something. Okay, like there may be some things that they're not telling you. Okay, you could really, 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 really love this person. Really um, feel very much connected to this person. Okay, then right up under that, you got they'll be back. Ugh, but right up under that, you got move on. Okay, it's something about you traveling as well in the near future. Okay, what does it? Okay, hmm. <laughs> but you have... For them, they had chemistry. For you, inseparable. Oh, my God. For them, unfinished business. For you, mend. Like, it's crazy. Y'all were mirrors for each other. This person could have even brought up some things for you that, um, that you may not have, like, certain triggers or, you know what I'm saying, certain feelings, feelings that... Um, you never thought to explore before. So for instance, right? Um, let's say they triggered an emotion in you that, um, let's just use clinginess for an example, right? Maybe this person could, and I'm not saying this is what happened. I'm just giving an example, y'all, okay? <laughs> you could have felt like, oh my God, you know what I'm saying? Like, am I being clingy or, um, you know what I'm saying? Am I checking a social status too much? Or you could have done this for this person. It's something about recognizing a trigger, okay? Something that, yeah, something like that, y'all. There were many less, not, I'm not gonna say many, but there was, I feel like transformative is the energy that this, um, th is the feeling this energy is giving me real talk. Like, after this person, you're not the same. In a good way, though. Like it is, it could have even taught you how to put yourself first before others or something. There's some kind of lesson I feel like both of you guys learned here. All right. How does Pisces feel about their person? All right. <laughs> you want them, you need them. No, let me stop. <laughs> okay, I know they want to need your ass, okay? Look, how Pisces feeling. Hopeful. That's so sweet. And conversation on the bottom of the deck. This is nice, y'all. All right, so let's see what their intentions are. Okay? All right, so what are their intentions with Pisces? <laughs> Chase your ass. What are their intentions? Ooh, this person may feel the need because on the bottom of Chaser, it says, I don't want to chase anymore. And then on the cut, we have self-love. Y'all, I look, I'm coming from the middle, right? Even though, of course, I'm always on Pisces side, for real, for real. But putting myself in their shoes, 
I would congratulate them because if they if they feel the need to choose themselves over someone else, bruh, give me that person. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> you choosing yourself, self-love, yes. Okay. But that that to me, it looks like that may have been a part of a lesson, okay? like focusing on themselves making sure they're good because if somebody is coming to you and they not whole how the hell you two halves don't make a hole in a damn relationship no they make two people that have they have two halves okay <laughs> you know what i'm saying you want your person to be healed as, as best they can and you want to be healed too right it's something about something blooming here pisces for this person okay The color white could be significant. Like this person could real life be working on themselves. Let's see though. What are their intentions with Pisces, please? You look, look, man. Look, man. Nah. Let me see what this other quality is for her, though. Okay, this person may have like a lot of responsibilities, a lot of things on their plate, okay? All right, this person could have children, but their intentions for you, Pisces, first of all, soul tie, it's something about either travel or a distance right now. You and this person could be a distance or y'all could just basically be distancing yourselves from each other, okay? But look, I wish I could right my wrongs. Why they got me all mushy and shit today? I always feel connected to you. This was some sort of connection, baby. Both of y'all, I feel like both of y'all was smitten. All right, what happened? What happened? I asked what happened and on the cut, third party. There were other things that got in the way of us being together, all right? That doesn't necessarily have to mean intimate third party, right? But definitely outside influence here that influenced, um, that um, caused your separation. <clears throat> it could have even been like a child's mother, a child's father, the responsibility of taking a child. Mullet, a mullet. Somebody could have a mullet, okay? What they call them, dope mans, okay? <laughs> That's like black folks mother. <laughs> I think I'm thinking of the right one. Right? They got like this. Anyway. Anyway. All right. But that could be significant. Somebody can have more hair in the back than the front. Okay. All right. Cow. Like somebody could like farming. Okay. Or something. Or like, I don't know, a cowboy. I don't know, y'all. Somebody could be like kind of country though. Have like a little ruggedness to them or something. like rough rough around the edges this could be you pisces just put the energy where it goes okay damn what are their intentions with pisces chaser i don't want to chase anymore I feel like this person, for one thing, is something about rejection here. They don't want to be rejected. They don't want to. It's something you sparked up in this person. <laughs> oh, my left ear is ringing. Tell me more for intentions. It's something about a sunset here as well. This person could like think about you or I don't know, a sunset could be significant. All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> or either a sunrise okay all right okay all right somebody could like either like strawberry daiquiris or pina coladas or like uh pineapple drinks or something <laughs> okay or i just heard shirley temple somebody name could be shirley okay all right something about religion as well okay all right or religious beliefs or something as well 
if I didn't say it already, this is uh, Chantrice Saber, all right? Uh, C-H-A-N-T-R-E-S-S, -S, Saber, S-E-B-A. I know somebody always asks in the comments, so that's her name or their name. Intentions, please. What are their intentions with Pisces? Escape, wow. I left when things got hard. Remember the regret was out earlier. It's something about your energy. This person will never forget whether y'all try to work on it or not, right? It's something that this person, I'm telling you, look, okay? <laughs> you understood the assignment. That's what I keep hearing. You understood the assignment. Your soul did, your, your spirit, your higher self did. Somebody did. I'm telling you, because you spark something within this person that they have to address. Even if they try to run away from it, guess what? They're going to get another Pisces, okay? And when I say that, I mean you. Another you in a different body, right? Because it's something God is trying to show this person. Something that they keep running from. But see, I, they, they don't want to run anymore. They're recognizing that they fucked up. Mistakes. I wish I could right my wrongs. Regret. <clears throat> Excuse me. What are their intentions? Equal reciprocity. Mm. Wow. It was something different about y'all's connection. There was a soul like recog recognition is what I'm hearing. Like you and this person could have been from like totally opposites, right? But it's something that drew you guys together, in together. And it was a strong pull is what I'm hearing. It's also giving me like telepathy type of energy this feels very much like a very much like a soul tie but the crazy part about it is it's giving me kind of sacred contracty type of energy right like look it up if y'all don't know what that is <laughs> sacred contract by caroline mace all right like what we agree to before we incarnate in this world if y'all ever seen the movie soul Okay, the cartoon Disney movie, basically that's sacred contracts. <laughs> basically, in a cartoon version, okay? Spirit, what are their intentions towards Pisces? Wow, and it fell on hope. Understanding. I see your side of the story. I'm so proud of them. Now, <laughs> I, I'm not getting any uh, cards out saying like they coming towards you or anything like that. All right. What are their intentions, spirit? Anything else? Detachment. Yeah, no. All right. Detachment. All right. I had to let go so I could clear my mind. This person, bless them, Lord. They working on themselves, hopefully. All right. And guilty. Mm, on the bottom of the deck. So let's get some advice for you and dip out, Pisces. What do you advise for Pisces? Um, what is person spirit advice, please? All right, you have intuition. All right, um... That's giving Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy. It says the red flags you ignore now will come back to bite later. Spirit. Advice for Pisces with this person, please. Mercury retrograde. Great. That's like, that's giving very much living in the past, okay? Or holding on to the past or something. And what I said, water sign with that uh, other card. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Advice, please. It's something about you processing this. 
right? Because remember, in the beginning, it wasn't just for them to learn a lesson. There was something here for you to gain as well, right? Even if it wasn't a relationship with this person right now, there's still something here for you to gain. At the bottom of this card, it says review everything, right? So what what did you learn from this this relationship did you learn to put yourself first more did you learn that you might be clingy right and no shade if you did you know what i'm saying did you learn that um you know what i'm saying um how to let go and not control something you know what i'm saying try to have control of something did you learn to communicate better or that you need to communicate you know what i'm saying and i'm not saying any of those things i'm not projecting or anything i'm just giving examples okay but look y'all Look, now I'm telling you what I tell you, what I tell you, y'all listen, nah. <laughs> look, your advice, you still trying to figure shit out. You understand me? And that, hello, hi, I am of age, okay? And I'm still trying to figure shit out. That's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. Shit, no, that, let me know I ain't dead. Shit, I'm still living. I'm still learning. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? someone is still trying still figuring themselves out so i definitely recommend pisces from the cards here and intuitively that there is like a need for a review or a processing of what occurred what lessons were learned what um what um do you desire from a future person things like that like you know what i'm saying what do you not want will help you figure out what you do want right and then when you figure out what you do want you don't focus on the shit you don't you focus on the things you do because where your energy goes or where your attention goes rather excuse me your energy flows right so where your attention goes your energy flows this is so nice this is a nice reading though real talk very insightful okay and i feel like there's something this person felt about you it's it's it, this this person know you taught them a lesson that that you yes advice for pisces please side note somebody could be be getting more sensitive like the uh, intuition is something about an increase in your intuition or an increase in a knowing okay a, a trust a trusting of yourself that could even be a lesson you know what i'm saying like learning to trust yourself more go on with your gut excuse me y'all <laughs> listen i'm gonna need you to hit that like button for your girl okay <laughs> oh lord okay the 27th that could be somebody's birthday or something all right listen look you got liar on the bottom of the deck. It's something here about you trusting yourself. When you feel like something's not right, honor your feelings, right? Process that shit. You know what I'm saying? Don't just be like, oh, I'm just overreacting. Da -da -da -da, okay? You know your intuition from, like, the devil, right? Because the devil or the Satan or the adversary, whatever you want to call him, he going to come with fear and things like that. Da -da -da -da, and try to confuse you and come with all kind of bullshit right but that intuition that higher self is gonna come in a loving energy right a patient energy with you okay like it says give it time okay but trust your intuition when it's telling you something trust your gut pisces okay but i really do you see this manifest how are you gonna manifest something if you know what i'm saying it's like okay processing what occurred in this relationship or what you learned rather right is going to help you to hone in on the things that you really do want right so focus on those things that you do want all right and tell the universe what you want and manifest that shit period you understand me and be patient with yourself okay be patient in your healing okay give it time baby all right everything is always working together for your highest good all right it always works out in my favor say that shit all right believe it now you gotta believe it all right pisces i love you so much don't forget to like the video vip 2.0s where y'all at we had such a good time in our live last night y'all asked your questions we got the answers healing occurred i felt it we cried we laughed it was beautiful I can't wait for our live stream this month, the end of the month, the last Wednesday of the month, unless otherwise stated. 
we will have another vip 2.0 live reading where you get to ask your question to spirit um very nice intimate setting if you are interested go ahead and sign up now nah, baby all right because we gonna get into it again all right so i love y'all so much i'm so grateful for y'all don't forget to share your planets we are growing um and this this is our home you know what i'm saying so you know what i'm saying do a little housekeeping a little sharing a little love on it you know what i'm saying it's always appreciated so yeah pisces i love you and i'll talk to y'all later bye